Just quick before we get really started, just if uh, this is for whatever reason this is all played or you misclicked on the wrong video, we are going to be going more detail and more into spoilers for Hades 2 on the early access so far. So if you've not played Hades 2 and you want to save yourself from that, click away from this or, or go see our spoiler free video. Can we talk about the ultimates and how Celine absolutely breaks the game? Well, that's a good way to start the, uh, that's a good way to start it, but, um, yes. Are, are they all gone? <laughs> are, are they gone? Man, I don't know, it's just us in here. It's so quiet. It's just you and me, it's just you and me, it's just you and me, your honor. No, I'm, gonna feeling, back. I'm just feeling like I'm those, just feeling those like, moments in those Looney Tunes moments. where, like, somebody's in complete darkness and they just turn and there's a set of eyes in there. But it keep fighting? <laughs> Alright, so with that out of the way, uh... Holy fucking shit, what the hell is Kronos? He's dying. Oh, so, oh, so we're just jumping right into it, I see. Yeah, I'm right. just okay. going straight into it because, dear God. Okay, so... Um, I mentioned this to, I think, Arashi as well, but, um, uh, Dooms, are you aware of the bug that the Kronos boss had before it got patched? The what? Say that again? The, the bug with the second stage, uh, Kronos before it got patched. No. So. No, yeah, you, you, you go ahead. Yeah, so. Yeah, so. When I played uh, and got to beating Kronos uh, the first time on his first phase, much like Hades, it switches over to the second phase because of course it does. You can't have a Hades game without a uh, boss of second stage. And he has a, in, in his second phase, he immediately pulls out an attack where it's pretty much an insta-kill. Now, it's an insta-kill unless you're standing on a Roman numeral where they want you to go for it. At the first, I didn't really get it. And then my Death Defy kicked in. I was like, oh, okay. And the bug was, like, I saw the attack coming again. I prepared for it. I stood where the game wanted me to. Death Defy kicks in again. Despite uh -huh. me teching it, despite me actually understanding what the game wanted me to do, the bug had, there was a bug where a supposed save point in that second phase would not actually work as intended, and instead you would just die. Holy shit. Second, yeah, you told me about that one. Yeah, this was so much of a, pro I thought this was just me, but this was so much of a problem that yeah, Supergiant acknowledged this and patched it in their second one. And not only <laughs> that, they actually added a new color for the indicator. No. Okay. Okay. Yeah, that that makes sense, and I'm glad that they caught that because mm -hmm. a boss with with a bug like that, nah, he'd be pra it'd be uh, unwinnable at that point. Yeah. I still. Beat Kronos him. is a literal cheater. Of course he is, but <laughs> <laughs> he's got time bot. <laughs> the fiend. <laughs> yeah, like oh. I I still beat him though uh, multiple times. I still beat him before the patch, but. Yeah, now at least it is. I'm not dealing with any of that bug shit. On that subject of him being a cheater, <laughs> did you pause the game? Yeah, if I paused the game. Did you pause the game, <laughs> Dooms? No, but I already know what will happen. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Uh, and yes, I, uh, and I, I, I got the spell, too. So to um, anyone who hasn't bothered to go to the bathroom or get the door and then just immediately pause in the face, yes, um, Kronos is definitely with the control of time, so much so that if you even think about pausing, he nopes out of that shit and immediately resumes your game. Oh, you don't, oh, you have stuff to do? Tough luck, fucker! He just like, jokes on you, bitch! <laughs> You're on my Smells time like now! bitch in here. I love the fact that you basically have to buy the ability to pause the game. Yep. And then when you start pausing it, Kronos will complain. Yeah. It's it's a, just a, what kind of bullshit is this? Ah, uh, waste of t uh, just a waste of time for you. What? 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 Wait, that's illegal! 
<laughs> and then he just starts being resigned about it if you do it enough. He'll just be like, oh, I'm sure this is a necessary bathroom break. <laughs> <laughs> Yeah, it's not so fun when it happens to you, now is it? <laughs> Kronos reminds me of Kid Icarus Uprising's Hades in a more subdued way. He is that kind of snarky, I'm not gonna lie. <laughs> yeah, I miss villains like that. Oh, can we talk about his design right quick? The uh, Titan of Time. The, Greek. Yep. The, his motif. Egyptian. <laughs> sand. And Lots his... Of sand. And no, and his the way he has put himself back together, Japanese. Yep. Yep. And the mother that is and the motherfucker's body, hourglass. <laughs> that was a real kicker. First time seeing him when you get out of Arab is like, who the fuck? Why the hell does he look so? Le I don't know, mention this Kronos. <laughs> he probably doesn't eat a lot. <laughs> Uh, man, I hear he needs a real Greek diet, consisting only of the finest gods. Yeah. He's quite famous for it. You should have seen him at the buffet. <laughs> <sighs> uh, shame he couldn't keep it all down. Kronos said, what do you think of this girl? Mel replies, I think Ubisoft is going to sue someone. <laughs> <Wow>. <laughs> I don't get it. <laughs> That nah, don't worry about it. Uh oh, good. Also, <laughs> that reminds me. Can we talk about how canonically this has a pretty noticeable change to the mythos for the main character? Because uh, Milenoe in this is Hades and Persephone's kid, whereas canonically, if I recall, she's Zeus and Persephone's kid. Uh, let me see. Just doing a quick, quick. Uh... I think I remember looking this up after seeing the trailer. The ghost of goddess, the goddess of ghosts and nightmares. She grants madness to those she haunts. Ah, yeah. Um, the general implication is that Zeus took Hades' form. But we're not going God. to acknowledge that. Yeah, we'll never acknowledge that because God damn it, Zeus. And also just because, well, we know why in this story, we know that Melanoe is Hades' kid because she can't go up topside. Yep. Oh, we, oh, you're going to get into that whole, mecha that whole mechanic later. Oh, yeah. Also, I'm not going to lie. I love how many characters they are pulling out in this, honestly. Zeus seems like the type of dude to get pissed if Hera did something like he does. I'm sure. The thing is, um, in this continuity, I think he, I think Hades, um, I mean, I think Zeus still does his thing. It's just it's you. It's not with family. So yeah, basically this, and that's what makes this Zeus somehow better than the uh, than actual mythology. Because he has standards and speaking, limits. Speaking of Hera, Jesus fucking Christ, I did not <laughs> see her. Like, the second she appeared, I was like, oh, uh, man. Not like in a horror way, because like, I feel like I'm staring down a predator. What? <laughs> I just to picture, just if this was a real, ta if this was like all, all of us in place, just like staring at a real predator, and in her, in her image, just all of us looking at her, blank stare, just, what? Yeah. <laughs> well, dooms you see about that in one myth, Hera well. <laughs> Fair enough. <laughs> the minute I saw, the minute I first saw Hera, I then looked at Zeus, and I'm like, How? Did you fuck up? <laughs> Heracles, you fucked up and sent. <laughs> also, <laughs> like, again, just... Also, like, again, just, like, the, the... Again, the attention to detail 
Yes, like for many people who only know the Disney uh, propaganda, I mean hit classic. Yeah, no, it's not Hercules, it's Heracles. Right? I Burn do love that filth. Right? I haven't even spoken. I've seen the man. It's just like, dude is scary. Oh, no. He, he is definitely the type you don't want to meet in a dark alleyway. Let alone a light one. Disney, you are on my shit list. I'll take the only... It's funny, because I actually like Disney's Hercules. I mean, oh, it's no. fine. <laughs> Get down! <laughs> <laughs> I mean, it's fine. We wouldn't have had James Woods as Hades otherwise. It's harmless. Okay, yeah, so here's the thing. I legitimately, and I will stand by this, I legitimately do not think that film would has would have been as successful if James Woods did not play Hades the way he did. Oh no, it totally wouldn't. Have. But it's it's a it, it's a very like passe film. It's like unlike say. I don't know, like Emperor's New Groove, where legit that film did not actually have a script and was just like, oh, this is funny. Let's just add it. Oh, this is funny. Let's just say this. <laughs> no, like this this film absolutely had a script and it was mid, honestly. And the only thing to make it serviceable is James Woods' performance. No offense, but he's the only thing anyone ever remembers about it. Yeah, pretty much. Yeah, but I, we're not here to talk about Hades, James Woods, Hades. We are here to talk about, you know, actual Hades. <laughs> and, oh my god, uh, like, uh, speaking of the new characters, uh, Icarus. Like, that Hey, you guys want to talk about Kid Icarus, Icarus now? <laughs> <laughs> we're on the same brain, dude, same brain! Same brain. It's like, damn, 25. I, damn, what's really going on in years with that sequel? I know what they're trying to state with the lore and everything, but I'm gonna keep it a buck, and I'm just gonna say it. So I'm just gonna say what all of us are thinking. Yeah, uh, Icarus and Milenoe were boyfriend and girlfriend. Well, it, it, you can just you can feel the tension. Like, I mean, it's pretty much the exact same thing that fucking uh, Th Thanatos and Zag have. Yeah, I like. The like the, the canonical reason for Icarus's revival in the game is that Moenaway gave up her arm to revive him. And I'm just like, okay, that's not a best friend thing. That is a lover and or crush thing. My best Well, it's like Meg and Fanatos from the first game. Yeah. yeah. Smug, I would never <laughs> I would in never. a million years ever expect you to give up your fucking arm to bring me back from the dead. I'm just that that's I'm just gonna pull that full stop. <laughs> if anything, you would probably get a Necronomicon to bring back my spirit, just go, ha ha, poor. <laughs> and the minute I go down, you're just you're pulling a full metal alchemist shit. <laughs> He's like, fuck the law of equivalent exchange. I want my boyfriend back. Death is only a thing that touches the poor people. Well, I guess I'm Ouch. screwed up. Who do you think you're talking to, bitch? <laughs> <laughs> oh, fuck you! <laughs> uh, okay. We talk okay, so Icarus, Heracles. Dude, can we talk about Medea right quick? Yeah, even in sketch Medea? form, what? <laughs> I gotta look this back up. As the apparently lone asexual in the room. Oh yeah, that's right. We didn't even mention this. We're we're so busy talking about like these characters. We haven't even mentioned like Hades now has two like pathways to go down. You can go downwards or you can go upwards towards olympus that's right and one way is much harder than the other depending on who you ask yeah. mainly because one way is technically sort of finished yeah <laughs> yeah i thought you were about to say oh that's right we didn't even mention asexuality <laughs> Duke is not here right now hey hey you're right but damn <laughs> the, the first time i went up to the surface i'm like it like the, I saw the stairs like room was like there's there's no way there's no fucking way we're going up here 
and lo and behold it was like that clip one clip of the uh, silver campaign like, there's no way we're gonna be able to go up to sir <gasps> <laughs> <laughs> we, we made that sound that just makes that just makes me think i like arrows just like i don't know why they call it a goofy movie it's just a movie made. oh yeah that one <laughs> i was also thinking when you get actually get up to the surface it's just that him like actually trying to uh do the omega hack of not playing the game right is just like if there is a god please tell him to send help <laughs> so about cersei <laughs> i don't even know who this guy is but... yeah the the god of the time. what an asshole he's the final boss Oh, that's the asshole who on possible. <laughs> yes. <laughs> I just, I just yeah. see Kronos just like, what now? Yeah, yeah, he's the final boss. You oh, God! Sony spelled the table to Detroit, <laughs> man. <laughs> no, you have to buy the ability to pause the game. And then he will start bitching about it. <laughs> <laughs> Oh, fine, I guess it's just a necessary bathroom break. <laughs> yeah. Exactly. Ah, uh, this motherfucker brought to get the tip jar. You what? <laughs> no, 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 it don't look bad. Tip. My tips! And this is gonna tell you his new palette. <laughs> I don't know why that got cut off, but Cersei's kind of unhinged, even for her legend. I haven't actually seen her yet. Is she in the fully in the second area of the surface? Yes, she is in the second area of the surface, and it is still co like concept artish. But yeah, just like the uh, just like uh, the other lady. Um, what's yeah. her name? Medea. Forget it. Medea. <laughs> Forget it. <laughs> and to an extent, Hades <laughs> too. Oh yeah, <laughs> Hades too. <laughs> Also, I'm probably going to get this name wrong, but can we talk about how, like, you were talking, I think, about Kronos, about how he's basically the Mario of Hades. <laughs> can we talk about how, I think his name is Polyphemius, Cyclops, Eater of Sheep, Greek mythology, motherfucker, talks like a New York goon. <laughs> hey, he is, he's voiced by the same guy who voices Hades, right? <laughs> like hey, Logan Cunningham you? really is just like a man of a thousand voices. Also, my God, the casting in this has expanded. Fucking Hecate is voiced by the narrator in Baldur's Gate Three. <laughs> nah, the, the, the I knew there was something that. familiar about her, and I only blamed Baldur's Gate Three for like eight hours. The minute I heard her voice, it was like, damn, I need to play Baldur's Gate 3 again after this. <laughs> also, <laughs> also, also, I knew, like, some of these voices were familiar to me, so I looked them up. Odysseus is played by motherfucking Jason Morinoka. To everyone else on the internet who watches memes and whatnot, he is Dr. Jonathan Wheelow in The World's Strongest Abridged by TFS. Oh no! He is absolutely, and you can hear the similarities. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> oh no! Now I can't unhear it. <laughs> I know I'm skipping ahead, but do you guys think we'll see Zagreus become one of the boon givers? That would be interesting. Ooh. I also wouldn't uh, put it past the game for him to be. Because they're they're very much hinting at the fact that well they're not hinting at it they give you this spell but they just don't have it ready they just yet don't have it ready. where you can basically just seal away Kronos for good so I'm thinking what if possibly they do sort of like a well for lack of a better reference Pokemon Gen two thing where now after you beat like Kronos for good now you get to beat Zagreus. Ooh. I know most of probably most of us want to play uh, as Zagreus for the uh, big old final, as like a, as a reward for everything. Mm -hmm. But Zagreus, uh, Super Boss Zagreus, that oh, also God, a Super Boss Zagreus. Oh Jesus, <laughs> that would that would just be heartbreaking. Is oh it? God! And imagine the game being like I know I'm putting. 
high expectations on the game, but imagine the game took a like track like took track of if you play Hades one. Okay, what is your best run with your best boons and everything? Okay, we're gonna take that and make you fight against that. I'm like, oh no, oh no, <laughs> that would be insane. Oh no, I'm, I was thinking back to my run with uh, the Gilgamesh gauntlets and and Mercy and uh, and uh, Athena and Ares duo boon merciful end. It's like fucking V and Devil May Cry Five. Just oh man, I get to level them up. End of the game. Oh, oh no. Oh god, I leveled them up. <laughs> well, that will make my hunt for the forbidden builds all the more fun. <laughs> he's, he's, he pulls out the Chiron aspect. He's like, congratulations, your target practice. Shit. <laughs> 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 he pulls out those fuzzy mittens I like so much. <laughs> oh, no. I, like I like you said, I know we're putting on high expectations for Super Giant and all that. But again, Super Boss Sagrius is would be amazing. It would be heartbreaking, but I will be I will be on the edge of my seat the whole time. Also, Kronos went from Eldritch Horror Creature to Sebastian fucking Michaelis. <laughs> what? Say that again. Sebastian Seb Michaelis from Black Butler. Oh yeah. no. Just, I, the dude just has to be voiced by J. Michael Tatum, and I just, oh my god, I am, I'm sorry, I won't be able to keep it in my pants, I'm just gonna be real. <laughs> Sarah, clean yourself up, please. No. Oh, and Smug, and Smug in the chat brings up a very good point regarding Chaos. Right, he got a glow up. Oh, yeah. He just changed his form because he felt like it. I do like the little details. Well, one where he's holding his old design's head. And the old and design the, is spitting out, spitting out a fetus. Yeah, that and how his new look is closer to that of Nick's showing their connection. Yeah. yeah. I like that. Yeah. And also, like, <laughs> speaking of, this game has, like, you know, it has a number of similarities to Hades in the story, but it also has a lot of differences. For instance... Uh, Zagreus's relationship with Nyx and Melanoe's relationship with Hecate, even in terms of being like a stepmother role, are very different. Like, Zagreus and Nyx, like, yeah, Nyx definitely put, did, risked a lot to try and save Zagreus when he was born. And, like, saw over, oversaw her him as one of her own. And, you know, it's really sweet and everything. But then you look at the backstory with Melanoe and Hecate, and she is playing babysitter. It's just yeah. so adorable. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> that flat, that, yeah, the flashback, it, it, it made me smile. I'll admit it. <laughs> Little Mel and just, it's just, oh my God, I couldn't <laughs> stop smiling. He's like, oh, shush, Homer. <laughs> Shut up. <laughs> oh, man. I do love that sh that Milenoe actually talks to the narrator at points. Yeah. Let's see here. Are we just talking the game in general right now? or just Honestly, like we can talk lot? about the game in general. Like, I... The, the, like, there's a bunch of stuff we could just talk about, honestly. Yeah, there is so much to talk about. We could be here all day if we weren't on the podcast. <laughs> Unlike, yeah. Did you guys feel happy seeing Skelly again? Yes. Skelly. What do you mean, General Skelly? Commander Skelly? Yes. Yes. General Commander Skelly? Yes. He has no <laughs> relation to Skelly whatsoever. What are you talking there's, about? So, what's the matter with you? <laughs> These are two clearly different people. <laughs> That's apparently an in joke in in on the on the subreddit. Just like who? <laughs> no, it's like, Skelly. No. Never heard of him. The fuck, Skelly. <laughs> Two it's completely just, different characters. It's just a pair in a platform situation. <laughs> Skelly. <laughs> Come on, a skeleton. A skeleton. Skeleton. A skeleton. <laughs> You're a temp. <laughs> Look, um, man, he's gonna make money speaking of why do you think Charon is back to being a generic robed figure for art? Because they're uh, updating the everybody's art. That's why. I'm, I'm excited for uh, art. and I'm yeah, I'm excited very, for crazy new art. I'm actually pretty certain that they're also going to update his model, but they had the one from the first Hades lying around. So I, I look, 
I Dooms, noticed that. Actually, let me take a look. Give me one second. Dooms, I, I know you're right, and I know this game takes a long time, but god damn it, I want to thirst over fucking Caron. Actually, I, no, I, can see a, I can see a difference in his model right away in Hades, too. Really? Wait till they make Charon hot. Oh, no. Like, oh, uh, no. Is that it? Yeah, that's it. It's not much, but, like, his ore is a bit more ornate. Like here, let me. I'm gonna post. I'm gonna post a similarity. All right. Like here, he is in one. Okay. This is just a picture of his in-game model. All right. Okay. Okay. And here he is in two. It's mostly in the ore. It's a bit more ornate and shiny. Okay. Yeah, I'm seeing. Like I can a, see the difference. It looks more like a weapon than anything else. Also, that reminds me. Uh, I can, like, how could I forget this game? got... I forget who, but it's definitely, I th it, it's either the person who played Zacharias or the person who plays Hades, but they got the best impersonator of Nicolas Cage. Yeah. Who? Yes. <laughs> <laughs> I said it in your stream, Narcissus Cage. Narcissus Cage. <laughs> um, let me, let me check here. Check here. I, I actually okay. have all of his, all of the people in there. Narcissus voiced by, yeah, that's Zagreus's voice actor, yeah. Darren he does The best Nicolas Cage impression. It's so funny. <laughs> First time I heard, I was I couldn't breathe. <laughs> <laughs> oh, oh, sorry. What if you must? Oh, sorry. I was so fatuated by myself. Now take these and go. Uh, let me see. Oh my god. I actually I actually adore Arachne. Oh Arachne's oh, lovely. Lovely. She is just lovely. It it she is so she is just a just sweet and in the later 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 runs I've been playing, I want to finish her story. I, I want her to be happy again. Yeah. Same. Yeah. I, I... Oh no, you can go. Um, let me see. Um, Scylla is a demented psychopath, but not one I feel threatened by. Oh, right, Scylla. I actually really like her, mainly because they, um, they pulled a River City Girls 2. Well, not 2, but they pulled a River City Girls on us. And they had the, like, song for Oceanus actually be a song that they're singing in character, and they sing it as they try to kill you. Just like noise in River City Girls. Yeah. <laughs> yes. Oh, here, like, honestly, the I, I, I'm, I, the, that was the first thing that came to mind. But because this was your username, I look at like Skilla. Oh my God! Hey, Smug. Did you get in this game? <laughs> no, you want to know what really sold uh, Skilla and the Sirens for me? Hmm. Is what? when I beat, is when I beat them the first time. And I came back to Oceanus and came up to them again, not even like, what, 10 minutes, 20 minutes later before I got to them, they've already made a diss track from the way you played it during the boss fight. Also, uh, Skilla, voiced by Aaron Givette, some people may know as Esther in uh, the new Final Fantasy VII edition. Oh, nice. Yeah. Nice. Like, there, there are some actually some really noteworthy voices. Like, um, I think Icarus was voiced by Asa Butterfield, uh, the same actor who played Ender in Ender's Game. Mm, nice. But yeah. Really uh, pulling, they're really all the steps. Yeah. And uh, in terms of, like, stuff of uh, the uh, game, um, I do think we do have to talk about this, how... This game honestly has a darker contrast to the first Hades, just right out the gate. Harder? Yeah. No, darker. 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 Oh, yeah. But I also mean... harder. <laughs> but also harder, yes. <laughs> the first Hades felt a lot lighter in comparison. Yeah. Well, we wouldn't yeah. say cheerful. It was... I mean, the difference, the difference is, in the t is in the surrounding... Uh, the there weren't many the stakes. Yeah. 
Exactly. There. Besides Persephone, there weren't many stakes. Now it's like Kronos has declared has taken over the underworld. He's declared uh -huh. war on Olympus. He's sending he's sending armies to invade. You have to go through a fleet. All nearly all of the Olympians are decked out in armor save for Hestia herself. And Aphrodite. And and Aphrodite, and, uh, but she's still wielding Also, a another spear. small side note: Demeter's new design is awesome. Oh yeah, I love the armor. Oh yeah, absolutely. But also, what are you, oh, talking, yeah. about? What are you talking about? I mean, like, uh, like she's she's got armor. I mean, she's got stockings. That that's, and that's it. That's all you need, right? right? <laughs> oh, she has a shield. My mistake. My I apologize. <laughs> Could you wear less clothes? I don't know what color your hair is. <laughs> <laughs> I like, I do like how the returning gods have... Wait, no, it makes sense. She has golden stockings, like the golden fleece. Oh, yeah, so uh, she just I get it. projectiles away. Cut to Something the, that I'm cut, sure a lot of men enjoy. Cut to the creator of, uh, hey, cut to the creator of Hades and the head of Supergiant. Now I just really like girls. <laughs> Turns out I'm a joke the whole time. I mean... <laughs> I mean, somebody's horny for literally everybody around here. Considering the fact that you can actually take a bath with them. Oh my god. Yes. <laughs> Consider it. We don't, we're not going to talk about that. I uh, I can go on for hours. <laughs> I know. Go on for hours. <laughs> we're not going to talk about that. I will that. say this. They know. These motherfuckers know. <laughs> they do. Wait. But I'm not even sure what we're talking about. about. Hey, go ahead, Dooms. I was I'll go on my I'll go on my is, I'm not sure, I'm not even sure what's happening. It's just um just Sony I was talking about how somebody's horny for everyone and Sony just pops up, even servers? And then <laughs> oh, Sony no. just goes <laughs> Oh god Trust me, they know. And it just threw off my entire groove. <laughs> <laughs> They've we always known since Pyre. Yes. Yeah, that's fair. Also, yeah, uh, Cerberus is honestly, like, one of the most tragic uh, bosses to go against. Because it's already so bad. Much made it's already personal. Bad. Why do I gotta hit the dog? But also, the fact that he is in a place called the Morning Fields. Like, right. oh and my god. when you beat him, your reward is tears. tears. Yeah, that son of a bitch Kronos made it personal. <laughs> you can't even pet him. I can't even make the stupid meme joke. It's just depressing. Yeah, exactly. It's just uh, I and I, I'm not gonna, I'm not gonna say it because like Dooms is not gonna get it. But uh, <laughs> yeah. Anyway. <laughs> okay. So the point I was going to make before we got hit with everything else regarding the gods yeah is that i do like how the returning gods while they do have this air of serious seriousness in them because of the war with chronos that they have remained relatively unchanged yeah 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 es especially poseidon he's still the same goof yeah honestly like i when i first played i was under the assumption that chronos just killed everybody but the fact that the story later on actually showcase actually interestingly enough has you playing as Hades for a bit and showcases that no everybody is frozen in a prison of time it's just like that opens some possibilities for what the actual ending is going to be that really that really does and i can't wait to see what they do with it my current theory is that every time you beat chronos you get to free somebody that would be interesting, but I don't know. That's only like, let me see. Uh, Zag, Persephone, Kix, Thanatos, Nyx, Everybody except for Hypnos in the House of Hades. Right, so everybody... Let me see. I'm just going to do some mental counting here. Nyx, right. Thanatos, Meg, Zag, Dusa... Well, Skelly made it out, obviously. No, yeah. wait, no, we didn't. We got Skelemius. Yeah, no, no, no. Uh, who are you talking? You're doing it again. <laughs> Achilles, Persephone, Nyx, 
Zag and Hades himself. So yeah, that's that's ten. That's about as many times as it took. What if Kronos has also frozen his fellow Titans to prevent them from defying him? That'd be that would be something he would do. No, that would be something he would do. Yeah. Yeah. It's like if it's his golden age, he doesn't want to show the spotlight. The reason why I think of the whole freeing in prison is because I'm drawing like a comparison to Hades one how it had to be had a two part story where. Uh, the conversations with Persephone had sort of a limit until, like, she decided to come back to the underworld. And then the rest of the story had a much broader approach and longer approach. Right. So that's where my and, mindset is. Right. I know I do have this feeling if they do go the, uh, free, if you free somebody per run, that they will save Zagreus for last because they hinted at him knowing something that and it's in his room. Yeah. Yeah. So I would I, I would honestly guess it's the hour of night. Probably. Maybe. I mean, what else are they going to come for? His Aphrodite wall scroll. <laughs> you never know it might hold the secret to killing Crow. You can you can drink this when you pry about my cold dead hands. <laughs> okay. I know we've talked about every, almost everyone in the crossroads so far. I'm just going to come out and Remember say Remember the Mirror of Night is a Chaos Realm item. Is it? Hmm. Oh I mean, shit, that is true. I mean, it, it makes does hold sense it. because uh, it's tied to Nyx. And by extension, Primordial Chaos. Yeah. Okay, I'm just going to say... I am just going to say it off rip. Just can go die in a hole for all I care. Oop. Oh, Eris. 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 Yeah, just, 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 I, I get it. She's strife incarnate. It is her whole thing to cause chaos. And yeah, I, Tifa I, is better. The, 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 <laughs> <laughs> oh, I get it. Number one, Tifa doesn't fucking die. <laughs> yeah, I'm sure Sky would be trying to wring my neck right about now. Good. Anyway, I mean, like I was... you can complain all you want. It can't unedit this out. <laughs> <laughs> all right. So look, what I was gonna say is like I get it. Her whole thing is she likes to so mischief, so chaos, be an overall general brat. Get it? And they did a great job with her. But oh no, you came to this area too fucking fast. By the way, your run is officially dead now. Yeah. Yeah. That. It made fighting her as a boss so fucking cathartic and after the fleet. Yep. I, will I was say actually surprised at how well I did at that boss fight, though. I was like, oh, <laughs> she's got the Adam and Rail. I'm gonna die. <laughs> oh, you fucking bitch. I'm gonna pry it for your hands and pull the trigger. I know this is an unpopular opinion, but I feel like her design is a little boring to be Discord incarnate. Honestly, yeah. I don't think you're wrong. I because here's the thing: I don't even remember much of her design. Look, I can thirst over Hecate, Odysseus, and Nemesis, and I'll even say Hecate or Hecate again. But I'll even say Hestia. <laughs> Hestia. But. Yeah, I don't really remember too much. It, it to me, I think it just comes off more as a boring Meg. Shut up, Meg. <laughs> no, she's honestly, she just seems like she's just causing trouble for the fun of it. She's oh. not really on anyone's side. She's just for keeping her own personal gravy train going. What made it funnier is even Kronos is like, wait, did, who? Who, who are you talking about? Who's on my side now? <laughs> I have no idea what that is. You're talking mad bullshit right now. Are you okay? Do you need some water? How long were you out in the sun for? <laughs> How long were you out in Tartarus for? <laughs> okay, but uh, I do like that little tidbit. Mm -hmm. But and then, but even so, I feel like her dynamic would fit better if she was like a little brat and not what looks like a grown walm. A grown wall. <laughs> I am. I, I'm just gonna say it. I. I feel like if she was more along the lines of Taiga Isaka from Toradora, because she sounds very similar 
to Cassandra Lee Morris. Like, I feel like if she was, if, if she was just a, like, a little gremlin just causing shit, like, Nekor or some fucking shit or whatever, like, yeah, that, that, I think then it'd make more easy. sense. Yeah. And also, honestly, I don't think that would also be funny. <laughs> but then, in, and I'm pretty sure people wouldn't hate her as much as they would. But I think that's what I'm sure that's what Supergiant was going for when they designed Dare, when they made Eris. Just, you are not supposed to like this girl whatsoever, but I already know there's going to be some people on the internet that's going to be, I can fix her! My brother in Christ, you cannot fix her. I'm not here to be a therapist. I'm going to make her worse. <laughs> Thanks. <laughs> My guy, I don't think you can even make her worse than she already is. Oh, don't worry. I think I can. <laughs> <laughs> He's like, nah, I would. <laughs> I'm just... Some people just want to call it, just some people just want to make the world burn and some people just want to make the world burn. Some people just want to give other people the means to watch the world burn. Yeah, some people just want to give others the gasoline. <laughs> and then some people just want to haunt. It's interesting how we've gotten this far and we have not even once mentioned Pandora. Oh, I'm sorry. Is that is that a spoiler? Sorry. Dora. Nah, we already know who it is. It's, it's obviously <laughs> Pandora. I swear to God, if she ends up being the king of the final battle, I'm gonna be pissed. <laughs> like Dora, though. <laughs> Dang, I'm I'm actually ashamed. She's the I didn't true get final that. boss. The fiend. I'm actually ashamed I didn't get that. That's fair. I, I don't know. Maybe it's because I don't know. Maybe it's because I just remember that gag from Billy and Mandy. Legitimate yeah, I should have. The <laughs> yeah. second you said it, the second you said Dora in that tone of voice, I knew exactly. It's like, oh, God. Dora, box, pen, Dora, box. Great God, why didn't I forget it? I'm about to miss my favorite TV show. <laughs> <laughs> That's hey, the one mod. Hey, well, anyway, I found, hey, Mel, I found this box in your tent. Can I open it right quick? <laughs> Yeah, like, I think Mel is really interesting, interesting, uh, and obviously, but also her connection to Dora, I think, is, um, actually pretty nice. Like, it, like, in its own way, I think she's supposed to be sort of this game's version of, uh, Dusa, but she has this just mixture of, like, theater kid and then just gremlin in her own way. Ah, uh, yes. The perfect combination. <laughs> Just, Be gone, you witch from this sacred household! I shall curse you for an entire entirety! Hey, you, you okay if I call you witch? <laughs> the, uh, the witch sounded good in the context. It's all holding on around, Dora. <laughs> be gone with you! <laughs> she feels like more of a character than Duessa. Even though I found Duessa sweet, Yeah, she she does have that energy about her. Honestly, I think it's just because she's the one of the first characters you meet. Also, instead, yeah. also instead this game also gives you a frog as a pet and a cat. Yeah, I'm gonna be real. You, I have, n I, you have no idea how many how much that cat's been a lifesaver when it comes to uh to the whole to its free death defiance. <laughs> yeah, yeah. I am, Ooh. like, that makes me curious, though. I, like, I'm wondering what they're going to do for, like, later familiars. Like, I know they have, uh, I know they have the frog, I know they have the cat, but I'm just like, I, what are we going to get for later, if there is going to be anything later? I think at one point they hinted at Hecate's hounds. Because I know you could talk to them at some point in the crossroads. I just can't remember when or if I missed it. I am heavily resisting the joke of God. I know how God how like because my dogs are barking. God, fucking damn it! He could not. I am God. I am over. I I feel like a I I, I feel like a man drowning in thirst. <laughs> yeah, and I feel like the guy watching. I feel like a man dying of thirst watching you drown. But. <laughs> But yeah, I think it's either... Yeah, it might be Hecate's Hounds. That might be next. 
And if not, I can't tell you who else. Maybe a sheep. But, uh, maybe a sheep. <laughs> okay. Ah. Uh, okay. We've talked about the. Uh, we've talked about the characters, the gods, Kronos and his posse. Have we talked about the gameplay at all? Because I know you. Because I, I know Smug brought up Celine as a to start us off. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> um. We can talk about it. Uh. Ultimately, I would say it's interesting that this game alongside, like, this game actually started to go for more crafting and farming. Oh, yeah. Uh, granted, don't get me wrong, I do like the addition. Yeah. It's... It did, and Celine's whole, oh, hey, don't forget this here before you run off to the next area perk you get from the cauldron is a lifesaver, because yes. God knows how... How much bronze I've missed on the surface. Especially in the third area, which is how big that area is. Oh, yeah. Yeah, but um, in terms of the gameplay, I mean, like, I, I mentioned this, uh, the sprinting in the Swarf 3 region, but I mean, like, it took me, I, I don't know how many times, my 25th run before I realized, oh, I can just sprint, like, hold it yeah. down. I was I, I was I was tapping for life, <laughs> and somehow yeah. I beat yeah. the game still. <laughs> yeah, actually, that's something I actually had to learn. Yeah, and also every single one of those weapons has a ridiculous learning curve. Oh yeah, yeah. Like they I don't do. even want to look at the fucking moonstone axe for a while. <laughs> I don't blame you. <laughs> yeah, and uh, like it does have one of the most because I, I think me and Rashi have figured out sort of uh, like a broken build with it because it's just like Apollo's cast mixed with uh, Charon's axe. Like you just put down the cast and then you just hold the special and immediately sets off Apollo's cast. Congratulations, yeah. you have a hammer. <laughs> Did any Did of you ever get good with the gun in Hades one? Um, I got good. I got good with it. Um, my preferred aspect was, I think, Eris, but I'm trying to do some things with uh, Hestia's right now. Actually, did get good with uh, Hestia's gun. It was basically a point and cl it was basically a first. You turn this bitch into a point and click adventure. <laughs> <laughs> exactly. Yeah. Yeah, I got I got pretty used to the gun, but I mean, like. I feel I I honestly feel like either the uh, the umbral flames or the skull are honestly a lot harder to use. Which would you I believe? Th a oh no, god! Yeah, would you believe a lot of people don't like the flames? I I don't. I don't like the I flames like anymore. Because did did you pick the flames before they patched it? Uh, I, I, um, I did do a run with them before they patched it. I haven't touched them since. I'm trying to rem oh, no, go, ahead. go ahead. I'm trying to remember what they patched. I remember reading about it. So um, initially, um, because the flame this attacks are stronger and faster. Omega attack channels faster and uses less magic. Special gives a speed boost, but as reduced damage, Omega special can be channeled while moving. Okay, that's quite a bit, actually. Yeah, but also, like, before the patch, I played through this with the flames, and you could just make a fucking tornado with them and yeah you can yeah. still do that but i mean like no you could summon like several different flames all at once and yeah. now they've reduced the number. yeah i, I uh, yeah i didn't like them at first i the one the one that i actually like i didn't like them until i actually picked up the aspect of moros hmm. oh yeah a lot of people say that is a good aspect for the uh torches it basically makes the flames from your regular attack linger so you can approach them and then do a special and they'll start swirling around you for more damage. Mm -hmm. So I quite like that. Yeah. That is nice. I should try that next run. Yeah, the skulls, I, 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 I don't like the skulls. I actually really like Revolve, but you really need one of those hammer enchantments that ups your shell amount. Yeah. Yeah, yeah shell. Actually... Go ahead. I actually had uh, I actually had one that gave me five shells, and I had one that um, 
it made the it made the things bounce higher but explode when they hit the ground Ooh, that, that was really fun. I I did play around with it with uh because I had Poseidon special with the skull and it was one of the few times where I genuinely liked right. it mainly because of the bug because when I played it I noticed multiple times when I played it with Poseidon special that the anytime I held the special it would just have me going for like 10 seconds just straight up attacking and i'm just like yeah this is a absolutely a bug but i'm just tech and shit so i don't care can <laughs> we take those we ball <laughs> <laughs> i actually surprisingly like the uh i do like revolve i especially like uh the persephone aspect hmm. because it actually gives uh the omega cast more uses outside of just straight damage and not only that, you're practically invincible when the uh, when the glory is fully charged, and you hit the special, and you use the Omega special. Maybe I just have to get used to it, honestly. Either yeah, that, it, it it takes like a few runs to get used to it. I personally found I personally myself found more accustomed to the more. sister blades. Yeah, that's fair. <laughs> like especially like I love going with like Hera special, Apollo's cast, and Hephaestus's attack. Like, it is so fucking fun. <laughs> also, I know we were talking about it earlier, but can we just talk about how, honestly, kudos for this game having, like, different body types for the gods and gosses. Oh, yeah. Glad yeah, that is, a, that is a neat thing I did that, that, was no that I noticed. Yeah. It's like, Hestia is the adorable is the adorable granny who will sooner burn you alive and then feed, and then uh treat you to a nice then uh treat you to a good meal and it's also irish i think <laughs> yeah <laughs> apologize because i know this is another possible hot topic but i'm greek so i feel like i get to say it okay. i so, love how I all love the gods don't the look like they are one race no i love that i love, I love that, that they like, look even less like, they didn't go into that in Hades 1 either, but now it's even more so. Like, like, um, like, Hermes is now very blatantly Asian. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, Hephaestus sounds Scottish. I want to say. Got a big old tummy. Hephaestus yeah, sounds a bit Scottish, but it's not like Scottish, really. Not like... No, not really, but it's a, it's a little bit in there. Uh, let's see who else. Uh, right, we, right. Yeah, no, no, we can keep going. I mean, like, there is, like, again, it's just, like, I feel, honestly, like, I, I think the work they have done for the, the work they have done for, like, something like the surface in terms of the gameplay is actually really interesting like because this is like the first area off the bat is just drastically different than what you would go through normally they give you just sortment chambers basically kind of like what they did in hades one before you faced off hades like sortment of chambers right. pick your poison and basically free a bunch of imprisoned souls and then go fight the new york gear cyclops <laughs> yeah. i still can't get over that yeah. I like how he I actually kind of acts like a mob boss too. Just like yeah. you know, the penalty for waking me up is is being eaten, right? I don't make the rules. If you don't make the rules, why are you enforcing them? <laughs> I lied. I totally make the rules, make and the I rules. love enforcing them. <laughs> it's like it's dinner time. Teleport back. Hey, where'd you go? Because <laughs> he's blind. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> he has poor death perception. No, he's literally blind. Oh, <laughs> that's a big part of that's a big part of the Odyssey. They even bring it up when you come back to the crossroads. Actually, yeah, Actually, I, yeah. I, 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 it's like is he still on his eating like, people thing. Famous Sir Odysseus. It's like, oh, uh, he's not still sore about the eye thing, is he? <laughs> he is a bit. Is he, still, is he still on his whole eating people thing? <laughs> yeah. 
<laughs> the funny thing okay, is, I have like, to bring this up now. Did you guys realize that now when there's an actual war, we can't find Ares anywhere? He's busy. He's a busy man. Yeah. The man's a god of war. He's got a job to do. He is a profiteer in this time. Man's just wondering about all good like cowboy hat now. <laughs> Business is good. <laughs> you think he'd want to help his family? Nah, he's where he's where the business is. <laughs> I mean, he's probably more on the front lines than anything else. Understandable. Like everyone else is up on the mountain raining artillery. He's the only well, he's not the only one, but he's got the sword, man. All the other all the other LBs just like, we're getting paid extra for for doing this for facing off against the dead, right, Commander Ares? Sorry, get her, you <laughs> <laughs> If you want to live, There's follow this one me. Spartan giving him some serious shit. <laughs> I get ah! it. Uh, 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 it's funny because it's true. <laughs> uh, but Let's... yeah, I mean, like, oh man, it's just you. Like, I mean, again, you talk about like just again, not just a drastic change in terms of gameplay, but also visuals, like going into the rift of thessaly like the the number of ghost ships and how you get from one point to the other like it is it's just honestly amazing and the fact that they are hard at work now in trying to uh get olympus ready for the uh the ne for one of the future patches i'm just like i i really can't wait to see what that looks like oh. there's so much to talk about even in the tiniest stuff to the biggest stuff like, we haven't even scratched the surface. Yeah. Just like yeah. the game. Yeah. yeah. I, I can't wait for Olympus. Same. That's going to be a wild one. Yeah. Also, yeah, we, we haven't even talked about uh, the big elf in the room. I... Okay, so... When, we, when I first saw the trailer, I thought... Hades was going to be in the same position as Persephone, where... You beat Kronos, and then you get to go see Hades in Chained. I heard some people say that, theorize that, oh, that's, uh, that Zagreus was just a beard. Like, no, that doesn't sound anything like Zagreus, and also, uh, Zagreus doesn't have that kind of beard. But, yeah. uh, but I was actually surprised when I went to, went through the, uh, Tart when I went through Tartarus, and stumbled across the conversation, and he is just there in Sisyphus' chamber in chains and i'm like this is like this this just took me by surprise and just honestly it's like it is so interesting to see a hades that has that a hades without his stubbornness without his uh yeah w without his stubbornness or ego yeah who's it, it felt like he's given up basically yeah and yeah, that running into that converse, running into that piece the first time, I was like, "Oh, oh, oh, Kronos is that petty? I see." <laughs> it's like, it made it worse. You, you, Cerberus won't let you pet him. <laughs> I, I, I am holding out for the day when they add that for an update. I'm holding out for the day for that update where Hades just at some point just lets you do it. Say it's all right, Cerberus. He's like, Let me pet the dog. Damn it! Is, is this because we had to hurt you in the fields of morning? I said I'm What's sorry. What are you doing? You're kicking our asses. <laughs> <laughs> and also cry. No, that too. <laughs> I do personally. I think it's like humor. I I think it would be humorously funny if, like, by being able to pet Cerberus, he gains a fourth head. No. I just think that would be kind of funny. Is that root? Okay, so he can just do that now. <laughs> oh, man. Also, like, Cerberus is by far, aside from Gronus, one of the hardest bosses to fight. Like, yeah. he, is, he is no joke. It's, he hits hard. It, the Texas Beach crash. <laughs> 
Like, but yeah, he hits hard. If you're doing certain packs, if you're doing certain packs in the uh, Valve, the Unseen, he he moves just as fast. <laughs> it hits hard. Yeah, it's his AOE's. It's like I'm playing an MMO again. <laughs> also, there's something else I want to say. I love how Hades is not afraid to reach for some extremely obscure Greek gods or figures to make a character out of. That makes me happy. Yeah, honestly. Well, let's see, what are we talking about? Echo? Echo. Echo. Polyphemus is one. There's Echo. Arachne, Echo. I've left known. Uh, I'm forgetting the one, but I'm forgetting her name. It's not Medea, but it's the other interaction you have and the ghost ship. The the sweet old lady the sweet lady uh Isn't that Cersei? Cersei. Cersei, yeah. That's I'm I'm just forgetting that name. Yeah, we talked about her earlier. There's okay. that other lady in the late the weird alchemist lady in um uh, in uh Ephira. I did I did not know her, so yeah, they've reached they've dug some deep. Yeah. yeah. Yeah, my uh, Medea. I believe her legend was the whole thing with that prick Jason. Yeah, wow. Well, yeah, yeah. Her whole thing was how she was basically a tragic figure, and how she had the favor of the gods to make Jace to make her ex husband's life as miserable as possible because she, because he chose a princess over her. And they were reminder they were married. It wasn't my fault. Like I was in a, I was in a room. She came in, stepped on my face, went a lot about myself at once. And yeah, she just kind of went up there. <laughs> I know Dooms won't get this, but do you think Kronos is the reason Marco keeps bleeding? Ha! <laughs> <laughs> Damn, I did not get that. <laughs> <laughs> okay, uh, Dooms, have you have you looked at Sozo's channel for Marco and the Galaxy Dragon? I have not. Yeah, you should. That is, it, it was one of the. It, to summarize, it's like a homeless man's fever dream. There you go. Let's <laughs> see. Anyway, uh, but yeah, I mean, like, and I've already said already it before. Said. Le, yeah, Medea, even in concept form, would. Yeah. yeah. They took, I, they they turned her into someone who revels in this type, in that type of dreary atmosphere. I'm here for it, really. Yeah. What kind of wood? Oak, maple, mahogany. Take a more. <laughs> but yeah. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> okay, so Medea, yeah, we talked about Heracles. I, I just want to know what his deal is. Like, he functions a lot like um, Nemesis when you're going down. He, he does. He seems more... He does seem but, rather jaded. I mean, jaded is right, but, like, also I've only seen him in, uh, in Ephira, nowhere else. Yeah, he's basically like, locked in the th in uh, Ethera, 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 Ethera. Okay, Ethera. Yeah, he's pretty much locked in Ethera, and it's you only met him in the introduction. Yeah, well, I also saw him buying something later. Yeah, he basically works kind of like those uh, those who can kill the most. Only instead of enemies, it's who can get the most gold. Oh. Uh... Maybe it's just issue. Maybe his deal is just I've got issues. Why can't somebody just not have it? Why can't somebody just have issues? <laughs> but yeah, that is his whole shtick. Hey, Eric, please. Are you, hey, Eric, please. You down? Eric. Yeah. Why? I can't see my forehead. Uh, uh might I suggest a mirror, good sir? Stands up and, a mirror, and he and he just breaks it. <laughs> it doesn't break. He just breaks it. Speaking of Artemis, she's gotten way stronger. Oh yeah, we didn't even talk about Artemis. Oh yeah. That's also, she right. got a glow up. Yep. I think she, she looks happier. Like her in her own... Yeah, she looks happier being in her own element for once. 
She looks happier not giving a fuck about her family. Yeah, well, you should, well, compared to Hades 1, where she's... Well, she doesn't want to be on Olympus, <laughs> huddled up in the corner, Zeus on his bullshit talking about marriage. <laughs> well, when her family is constantly judging her, Artemis in the <laughs> corner, <laughs> just see her, just in the back playing Grand Theft Auto, San Andreas. <laughs> oh damn it! But yeah, you look at but when you go back to Hades one. Next time you get Artemis, look at her art and tell me that's not what you see. Yeah, yeah. And then and then you compare that to Hades two, where she's got more, a better posture. She's actively helping you out in certain rooms. And Artemis is literally a gamer in ancient Greece. Is she is, and she actually has a goddamn smile on her face. <laughs> She's a gamer and she is in hell. <laughs> but no, I am happy with all you. gamers go to hell as you know. Which is why we'll all see each other when we go. Well, here we are. <laughs> <laughs> Welcome to Hades. <laughs> but yeah, I'm glad with what I'm glad with how they went with uh, Artemis for this one, and uh, Icarus basically plays the same way. Only instead of uh, arrows and weak points, he does fucking bombardments. <laughs> yeah, and um, I know, like we've talked about Kronos and how he's the god of time and everything, but legitimately. With everything around the story, you know what I immediately thought of when I when I saw him? What's up? The fucking lion from Invincible. I've got money! <laughs> oh, God. Not the money. <laughs> also, the fact that, oh my God, we, we, we haven't even talked about something that's really good in this. The music. Like, did touch a little bit on it with Skilla and the Sirens, but we can go in full force here. Oh, yeah. Like, the fact that, again, like, back to on, he'd be on terms of, like, Cross Tartarus's new remix. Like, that is so oh, yeah. good. Oh, so good. This oh. shit. The whole thing going, hearing it and being back in Tartarus. It felt so weird coming back and going into Tartarus as, like, the last area of the downward runs. Yeah. But hearing that music made it all worth it. Like, just push through. Just get to Kronos. I am not going to die before I hear the end of this track. Right. Oh, man. And, oh, my God. Just, like, the, 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 the music that plays in the first area is just, like, it's so good as a starter. Like, oh my god. Oh, it, it really... It really... Man, it, it's... They have not missed. They have not lost their edge. No. And I am so excited to see, like, more pieces when, when, they get, uh, when they get finished with the game, honestly. Here's a question on the music. Do you think Scylla will get extra songs depending on your run? I imagine, and I'm just gonna fully expect to say this here because I kind of envision her like the Asterius of this game. I 100% expect them to give her more music the more you beat her and the more pissed off she gets. <laughs> oh, I'm expecting to get a lot of music because I've really pissed her off. Like I, I love the first song you get to hear, and then we're gonna we're gonna claw out your eyes and drown you to death. And I'm just thinking, she's like, what else are they gonna fucking give? I would love to hear. It's like extreme measures too. She gets, a, it's a, she gets a whole mosh. The, the crowd joins in in a mosh pit. <laughs> oh, I'm shocked nobody has tried to make the snap cube joke. I guess it's finally dead. That's which one? Oh, hey. I, I, a number of Snap Q jokes. Are you talking about Pumpkin Hill? Are you talking about nineteen odd seven? Are you are you talking about I've come to make an announcement? Are you talking it's announcement? About... Oh, there it is. There it is. I was gonna say, yeah, you're gonna have to be more specific there, schmug. <laughs> like I, I would have gone with a fucking uh, like the fucking Fortnite reference. 
Just, just Skilla. I used to be into Fortnite. Yeah, sure, we all have that kind of phase. That doesn't mean I want to keep dating my Fortnite boyfriend and inviting him to my new apartment every time I have a party. The most <laughs> one. <laughs> <laughs> but, yeah. Okay. but yeah the music yeah the, especially the uh, fields of mourning yeah it really drove in that point of hopelessness and despair yeah that the area really wanted to set in oh my god like it is it's Oh, and then there's also, like, it is hard to just, like, fully scrap, uh, fully get everything down in the game, especially when, like, oh my god, I mean, like, it, we've been talking about it and everything, but despite this being early access, and yes, I will throw this game under the fucking bus, because fuck this game, despite this being early access, this has a fucking competent game loop like even if it has bugs even if it has glitches it is there at its core it is fully realized unlike fucking yandere simulator yes i will continue to bring that shit up because fuck that game and fuck the dev you want to know what's I, I wholeheartedly agree on the whole fuck yandere dev but but to go on to that topic of uh hades 2 and early access you want to know what's really scary Hmm. about this the fact that it's an early access the devs themselves said this ha this is basically a full game already and it's supposed to have more content than the original hades that just that idea as a whole scares me because I what more could you possibly put in i what yeah, oh yes, my this, god! I didn't even know this, that! Yeah, this is basically practically a completed game by itself, and it's early access. Right? Oh my god, like... Yeah, I am perfectly fine with waiting or as long as it takes. That's my issue with early access. It always feels like here's a bare bones thing. We'll finish it later. Yeah. Yeah. And then nah, Hades 2 comes in, Hades, Hades 2 comes in, it's like, nah, you're getting the full package and more coming along the way. <laughs> hey Kurt Spell, how are you doing? <laughs> yeah, to those that don't to those that don't know, Kurt Spell was an early access game in 2019, and at the time the devs were saying, like, yeah, we're we're really interested in player uh feedback and everything. We're hoping to push this. It is 2024 now, and they have not done jack shit. Please don't make me relive that. Oh god, I'm not going back. Baldur's to that shit. Gate 3 also used early access well. Oh, yeah, it did. Actually, now that I think about it. Alright then. So that's three games that can pull off early access. Lethal Company. Okay, four games. My apologies. <laughs> Lethal Company, and it's made by one person. <laughs> <laughs> Yeah, I'm both excited. Don't tell Yander Dev. <laughs> nah, he's too busy serving life in prison. Don't worry about it. But yeah, I am both excited and terrified of what the heck they could possibly add. Oh man, it is. It's just like it feels. I I want to talk about more yeah. of that, but it's just like there's. I mean, I, it, it's just like there's, it, it feels like there's so little right now to <laughs> talk about. And it just feels like, again, like she's, like Smug said, we haven't even scratched the surface. But at the same time, it feels like I, I, I'm just like that new content. I'm just like, I am so excited for how this game turns down in the, turns down the line. And I am so interested in seeing just like, where do we go from here? Where... It, where is this game gonna lie? Like, I would love to just see where this where this uh, where this game just takes me when it's finished. I would love to see that. I get the feeling that this that the pod that this is going to have 
five episodes on the podcast. I can already tell. I mean, I can make five episodes on the podcast. We could, I can, I can make a full Hades two corner if we want to just gush about that when it's finished. Oh yeah, absolutely. He's like, all right. He's like, all right, say less. <laughs> but, oh god, what else is there to talk about? I mean, this game feels like it's going to need a round two. Are you ready for round two? Oh yeah. Uh, God, let's see. Okay, I do want to at least give this question to... Oh, God, that is another thing we got to talk about regarding chaos. What do you all think of that uh, pitch black stone that gives, like, the uh, mini... That gives, like, the uh, mini runs with predetermined loadouts? Oh, I enjoy the hell out of it, honestly. Jeez, I do li I like that. That is a nice little idea. It's like, oh, something's not working. Here you go. Why don't you try this and just take your load off of, take your mind off of things. It reminds me of the secret missions in Devil May Cry where you had to fill like certain prerequisites. It kind of feels like that. You all right, Dooms? Yeah, I'm okay. I'm just out of social battery. Understand. And just not really having much to say, really. Y'all are saying pretty much everything I'm thinking. <laughs> I mean, that's perfectly fine. It's just like, I, I, I wanted to, uh, like, make an episode talking about Hades 2. Like, I am just like... Look, I, I, I could just go on till the sun don't shine to talk about Hades and everything. Hell, I could just make a full podcast talking about how much I want to thirst over the women and men. But that's another story for another day. <laughs> I think I'm gonna head out too. I'm kind of drained. Yeah, and Elden yeah. Ring is calling me. Yeah, you know yeah. what? Honestly, I think by that we might as well wrap it up. I mean, it's just like I, I think we've kind of said all we wanted, and for right now at least, because it's early access. So yeah, honestly, I think if uh, uh, I'm not gonna do this every patch more so, but I am going to do this when more substantial content to Hades 2 and Early Access gets added. So I think by that, I think um, if you guys feel comfortable with it coming back and talking more about uh, Hades 2 when that day comes, um, I'd be more than happy to have you on. Oh, oh yeah, yeah, you know, I'll be, you know, I'll be here. Yeah, yeah absolutely. To my interest, I'll be on. Yeah, honestly. And uh, yeah, pretty much uh, if you... Personally, if you'd like to see uh, someone like me play Hades 2, I mean, I will... I'm not... I'm taking a break from gaming right now, but later down the line, I will be streaming Hades 2 when uh, I get the chance and everything. So, stick around for those. And check out my other content on Hades 2 if you haven't already. Uh, but yeah, that is going to do it for this episode. Um, thank you all so much for uh, joining for this conversation. And uh, thank you to everyone for listening in and everything. We will see you all next time when Hades 2 gets more content in early access, so... Yeah, definitely. Yeah. Absolutely. And remember, together we shine, death to Kronos, and once again, Eris can die in a fucking fire. Sorry, I'm still pissed about that. Together we shine, death to Kronos, and dear god, I want to lick Hecate's goddamn cum gutters. <laughs> I will not apologize for what I've said here! Nor do I, we am expect doomed you to <laughs> I do not. And as the only <laughs> sexual in the room, uh, Arachne is best girl. Raval is best weapon. Thank you for coming to my TED Talk. All right, on that note. All right, take care. Peace. 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 Peace.